is Sarkaric. This is Sarkaric. Hey, what's up, y'all? <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Tequila and Champagne Pod. Starring yours truly, Shayla Ron, and my co-host, Pablo, my nigga fool. Say what's up to him. Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Pablo, a.k.a. Grandma's Favorite Grandson, a.k.a. The Pod Boss, a.k.a. Pod's Gift, a.k.a. CEO of this thing of ours, SMG. More a.k.a.s in the HBCU. Pinkies up. You know what it is. Yeah. What makes you Grandma's favorite? Uh, I said so. Oh, okay. I'll and I was you the first that. one to make a t-shirt, so they can't say nothing. Oh, okay, yeah. Then that's <laughs> yours. That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's get into it. It's right. kind of the drama circulating <laughs> yeah. on the internet. I love it. This is my favorite episode of America. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's the cheating episode. <laughs> Or oh, the cheated, the cheaters, they out there. Like, do y'all got a secret society? Y'all got a club? I'm like, well, not so. Y'all got a club right. or something. They got something. And the the love these humans have for celebrities hmm. is killing me. Okay. Well, which ones? Like, uh, be specific on the love giving. Miss Nia Long. Oh, one. baby. Like, I get it. Love Jones, Friday, the best man. I get it. Fresh Prince. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I get it. She, she's a woman. <laughs> she's a woman. <laughs> you, say like, so? <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's, she's no special. Than anybody else, she is though. Okay, it's Nia Long. It's Nia Long. Yeah. How many songs got Nia Long name in it? A whole a gang of them. Like okay. she she done lost count. But I'm just saying, like Holly got cheated on. Beyonce got cheated on. Lady Gaga got cheated on. Like like. But when you say it like that, it's like. So <laughs> now it makes yeah. sense. <laughs> Shay got cheated on. You see what I'm saying? Like everybody at one point in time goes through it. Mm. Yeah. Is it What's because she's that? so private? And this all came out at one time. We was like, oh shit. Nia I Long. mean, Shay or Nia Long, like it's still a fucked up situation to be in. You know what it I mean? Is. I feel like just a lot of people can relate. And then it's mm. like, damn, and it's Nia Long. It's like the same thing with Beyonce and the rest of the women that you name. It's like, it's a surprise because they so great, so wanted, so, you know what I'm saying, talented, amazing, and all those things. But no, that don't stop you from getting cheated on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying too much, but I did see like a little clip of, I think it was Nick Young talking about like men just get bored sometimes. He, he need to shut up. He needs. He, 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 he was cheating too. Like yeah, he, he, he was. He was he cheating. Was. Um. Yeah, man. Um. And I hear the guys. They're like, "Oh, I was with Nia Long. I, I wouldn't do it like that." Like you don't know what Nia's like when the camera's off. Exactly. Nia could be batshit crazy when you turn the cameras off. Like he was beating the shit out that nigga. No, right. Just <laughs> you know, six five ass like getting his ass whooped by Nia Long. And he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go eat her ass. I'll see y'all later. Okay. The you, use protection, I guess. <laughs> I do this. my thing is like it may be possible that she already knew. Mm-hmm. And then, I, I believe so. It may be possible that she didn't know because the said mistress was still, you know, taking care of her travel arrangements and things. Bruh, like that's that. the that's wild true. part. That's she, true. she moved Nia to Boston for this nigga. Like, I got you. Put you on a plane. Did it, this, that. I'm going to move our nigga. To yeah. Boston. Yeah. As long as he's happy, we're <laughs> happy. 
Okay, lowercase y, capital O U R. Exactly. <laughs> but um, how did we find out? Like, who told? Somebody told. Somebody inside the organization told. So then she met. So then Nia Long may have already you known. Yeah. It's definitely possible. Women got intuition, so you know she probably knew and was waiting for her moment to be like, mm. "Oh yeah, I'm done here." Maybe she wanted to wait till after the season. I don't know. I wouldn't have moved though, because she just recently moved. I wouldn't have moved. Like a month ago. Like two. I mean, I would have moved. Yeah. If I had known, oh no, I wouldn't have moved. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Or maybe I feel she like probably, she had out after she moved. Maybe she like, I I think she was waiting for the results of the investigation. So she's like, "Fuck it, I'm just gonna move anyway." Just to, you know, I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt. And then the investigation was over, and it was like, "Yeah, this nigga out here eating ass, and he being handsy with people who don't want to be handsy on." So now he out here eating ass because you keep saying that he really out here yeah. Eating ass. Oh. The, the 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 travel chick. He was eating her ass. He ate her ass in the uh, Celtics facility. Ah! Shut the fuck up! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. What? He was eating yep. ass in the locker room. Yep. While well, he was looking at game tape, he was over there eating ass. That nigga gay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, Man. It's okay. Yeah, we don't judge at all. But no, nah, I like it. But um damn, you it's, ah it's on camera. You can like see that. I don't I don't I don't know. I don't, if it is somebody they ain't leaked that if it is. What's this uh mistress's nationality, background, ethnicity? Um the one that he's the one that he was supposed to be with, she's brown. So she's from some some very warm climate country. Um <laughs> I don't know if it's Africa or one of the Hispanic countries, but she's from one of them warm climate countries. She's she's melanated. Um okay. the one that didn't want to be handsy on, I don't think she is. I think that's how he got caught up. I'm sorry, so, how many women it's it's two right now. So and, and, one that he was with, and then there's one that just you know saying she crying foul, like hey, he's doing this, and I don't like it. So and it's supposed to be some other shit coming out. Because a lot of players defended him at first, mm. but now they're saying, "I'm sorry, I don't got more information, and no one's want to speak about the more information part." So I don't know what the fuck going on. So, so y'all should have shut the fuck up from the beginning. Okay, that's all I'm yeah, Matt Make, Barnes makes sense. Matt okay. Barnes I, shut the yeah. fuck up. I first of all, Matt Barnes, he's so fine. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the woman that he was with, he could definitely have all of me. Okay, yeah. Hey, I'd lock myself up for Matt Barnes. I just like him light skin, I guess. I, anyway, I guess so. I guess so. Weird. This is season. And, and he hella tatted too. So yeah, yeah, that's my type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if he used to sell drugs, then even better. Hey, um, he looked like it. He looked like it. He looked like it. Yeah. Ooh, he look like it. I like it. Anyway, mm -hmm. I got issues. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all you gotta do is just the part. Anyway, that's it. So, <laughs> don't be selling the drugs. Just, just look like it, brother. That's all. I mean, you're sell them. Just don't bring it to my house. Um, yeah. yeah. But as yeah. far as what he was saying, it was just like, okay, that is very true. I'm pretty sure you've seen an endless amount of you know people cheating from the players to the staff to CEOs and all of that. I don't yeah. think it was nothing wrong with that part. I didn't listen right. to the whole thing either, but. Right. I wouldn't come back and apologize about shit either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, like, but how long do we accept that just charging into the game excuse? You know, like just because you are NBA player don't mean you have, you know, free will to go fuck on whatever you want to fuck on. That don't make it right. Yeah. Okay. That don't never like just make it right unless they have some sort of agreement. Like, okay, you know, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's only one NBA player that I know of that had an agreement with his wife. Who? And, uh, Andre Karolinko. He he Russian. His wife said he can do whatever he want when he's on the road, and he never did. You know what? I'm trying to give him free will. Do whatever you want to do. Go ahead. 
<laughs> yeah, she, said, she said, just don't bring nothing home and don't fuck up my family. We good. Do whatever you need to do. I think that's a pretty great agreement. Yeah. That works for them. Of course yeah, you I mean, did. It, it worked for them, but then on top of that, he really didn't even like want to do much. I ain't nothing but like a little reverse psychology. He big, yeah, he's a little big six eight white boy. Like ain't he, okay. he could, but it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't like he was like Kobe walking in the room. Like it's listen, the height alone is gonna get him pussy. Okay, <laughs> period. Um, don't think he a basketball player walking in the room. <laughs> but what if? What if Nia Long and her fiance had the same kind of mm. agreement? What if she knew old girl and she cool with her and you know what I'm saying? Like, what if it's a compound? What if it is? Just don't put my business out there because I'm. Yeah, that, I think that's maybe that's what it is. Nia was on the compound. She just didn't want nobody to know she was on the compound. Maybe she he is Nigerian. Compound. Maybe she on the compound. Yeah. I don't know. It's just it's a it's a fucked up situation. And He's Nigerian though, you know how Nigerians are. They don't they don't like just one woman. I don't know how Nigerians are, except for they lavish ass weddings. Yep, and they and they have multiple wives. That's how they get down. Not all of them. Okay, oh, you got a whole fucking country yes, right now. All right? Nigerians, all y'all niggas. Uh, he apologized. <laughs> Later, not today. <laughs> I, I, that's a surprise. I wouldn't even say that. Because uh-uh. I kind of low key want a Nigerian wedding. Yeah, um, you, you, you're going to be one of them. You, concubine. <laughs> that's fine because I didn't really sign no papers to be here anyway. I just came for the festivity. Hey, yo, you just here for the what food. You want to, I'm cool. Do what you want to do. I just wanted the party. You just here for the food, food, and drinks. <laughs> If it's good, yeah. Oh, and for y'all to throw that money on me. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hell, yeah. Yeah, that's a dream. feel like a stripper. Mm-hmm. Anyway. <laughs> Speaking of stripping, I'm glad you said that. Look at that. Look at the segue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I just sent you four pictures to your phone, ma'am. Mm-hmm. They're coming. It's coming soon, you know. Four pictures? Four pictures. Should I be scared? You should be, because I was when I saw them. Okay. You tell me who this person is. We'll send them. Uh, it's coming. It takes forever. Are you texting me? You sent to my Instagram. I texted to you. I should have sent to my Instagram. Instagram. You know, it's yeah. Instagram. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm scared. We're going to have, have Natasha put the pictures up. Not Well, one picture up. We can't put the rest of them on, on the screen. Oh, my Fucking, fucking. Tell people what you're looking at, sis. What in the black face? <laughs> <laughs> what you looking at, sis? Titties. Whose titties? There's some cute tits. <laughs> Rachel. Yes. Dola's Alalo. I don't know how to say her last name. Dozel. That's how you say it. That's how you say it. Okay. Well, Rachel. She, said, she said Twitter on fire when someone oh leaked my those. Oh, fucking God. I hate it so much. I hate it so for those, of you, She's in shock. So for those of you who are listening, uh, I sent my sister four pictures leaked from the official OnlyFans of one Rachel Dozel. She's charging people ten dollars for her OnlyFans, and that's what she's giving up in the OnlyFans. I'm about to start an OnlyFans. Yeah, you should have been started one. We've been we've been rich by now. I know, but then all my fucking pictures would be leaked on the internet. On the fucking internet, she would flash the titties on the screen. She would flash the fucking titties for money. I might. (laughs) Um, Episode, we got dick on the wall. Now we got titties on the screen. You never know what you're going to get. Like. She do got nice titties. You never know what you're gonna get on tequila and champagne, people. <laughs> Her body don't match the face type. It shit. don't. I thought it was Photoshop, but people said that's the official no, shit. That's, uh, she got nice titties though. Mm-hmm. First of all, I want like one so fucking bad, so fucking bad. This is the worst. And what the fuck is this nappy ass shit? On the top of her fucking head in this goddamn picture. 
what the fuck is this nappy ass fucking? Where did you buy that ponytail off of Sheen? Yeah. What the fuck? She took that, that. She, she took the curly wig and just put it. She did the puff like you. Just she don't know how to puff it. She don't. She ain't do shit like me. I grew up. <laughs> what the fuck? It's natural. God given. Ah. Uh. Uh. Uh-uh. No. <laughs> No. Oh, she attempted the Shea Puff and it didn't work. Oh my fucking God. Rachel. Yes. She had an ass tattoo and everything. You know what's so hard about this is that her body looked good. <laughs> and I, it's like what I'm what, what's bringing me anger is like the whole concept of the who she identified as. But mm-hmm. other than that, like weird bitch. You got a nice body. So she need to shout out her tanning salon. They like, they got that, that 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 melanin on her like that. Black people tan, don't forget that. They do, uh, but she ain't black. No, nah, she is white. Yep. You got to be out your fucking. Is this a wig? Yeah, that's probably a wig. Bitch, take that nappy ass shit off your fucking head, okay? <laughs> this don't represent nobody that I fucking know. <laughs> Bitch, you are your fucking mind. And now, nah, nigga, I fucking know. Do you understand? <laughs> so how you feel, sis? <laughs> I cannot. Like, what the fuck? That is trash, okay? Mm-hmm. You're better off with the tan and maybe going to get you some uh some box sprays, Bitch. But that she, nappy ass. She shit, had the box red, y'all was killing her. And she I lost her job. Her, I wasn't killing her. When she but I didn't work for the, uh, for the what's the niggas called? NWACP. Thank you. I didn't work for them. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't show when up. She came white out white with the box braids and said, I identify as black. Y'all killed her and she lost her job. Now she on there shaking her titties for ten dollars a while. Of course, shaking titties, girl, because they nice. But at the same time, you was gonna get your whole fucking ass handed to you for what you was trying to portray. Okay, it was more than just the box braids. The box braids was just a bonus. Okay, everything that you was gonna talk, that was just a bonus to what we had to fucking say about you, bitch. But that trash ass fucking nappy ass fucking look like carpet ass wig. That two dollar wig from the hair store that you took straight off the motherfucking mannequin, weird ass bitch. Like, just be you. Like, you don't, you don't have to do it. You don't, you don't, you don't have to do that. But her body looked good though. Shout, out, shout out to Rachel. Ten dollars though. She she even lowballed the shit. Ten dollars. Uh, <laughs> all them bitches only fans be like ten dollars though. Nah, I, I know most niggas is like twenty. I know I've seen a lot of ten dollars. Yeah, ten dollars. That's that's the that's the base price with, for niggas. With a bigger celebrity status in there. Yeah. Okay. Damn, I kind of want this green outfit though. <laughs> I fucking hate this bitch. I don't hate her, yeah, but yeah, you not yet. <laughs> I don't really such disbelief, man. I cannot believe. First of all, her body looked good. I just yeah, whoever I like leaked, that. whoever leaked that trash though. Rachel, get some box braids. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, I can't stop looking at it. I'm talking. Let me turn my phone uh, off. <laughs> that ass tattoo. There you go. If you don't have a high sex drive. And your man do, and you say you love your man, but he better not cheat on you, and you don't like sharing your man. I don't get it, sis. That don't sound like love. If you know you got a low sex drive and your man got a high sex drive, but you love your man and you want to please your man, you just don't want to share. Then you need to turn that shit up and get that pussy up even when you don't want to. Or tag a bitch in to let her get him right. If possible. And everybody wins. You don't gotta have sex when you don't want to. And your man ain't gotta go without. I know y'all ain't ready for them type of conversations. Question. What do you want me to say to that? <laughs> she said y'all not ready to have that conversation. 
talk about it. Shit. Um, are you tagging a hoe in or are you getting date raped every night? Like, how you want to do it? <laughs> um, listen, it depends on what kind of night it is. If it's my <laughs> man, if it's my man, my man, my man, my man. Do you have a problem? Like, are you like what? What's a high sex drive and what's a low sex drive? And then, how come y'all don't meet somewhere in the middle? And maybe one of y'all have an issue. Maybe you have an issue that gives you a low sex drive. Maybe you got a fucking disorder that gives you a high sex drive. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, I mean, I don't know. Mm. We have to talk that out. You need sex how many times a day? This is it, and why? How does that fulfill you? That make you feel like you that nigga? Like, I, I'm just, I don't know. She sound like she mad at y'all for not sharing y'all men. That's what she sound like. Bitch, you sound like you ain't got no fucking man. That's what it sound yeah. like. Yeah. Weird bitch. Yeah. She look weird, too. I'll you, see you in the picture. Please. You mad because bitches is not sharing a man because you know some bitches that do share their man and that's the man that you wanted but you didn't get that but his sex drive so motherfucking hot because y'all messy bitches and y'all always in each other fucking business and shit but that don't even make sense. Share my man, bitch. <laughs> Your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What's up? Oh, that's what she look like. Uh huh. That's what she look like. Oh, she look like she into Polly. Yep. I don't know what that looks like. Put your phone up there. Too close to the mic. That's that's what she look like. Yep. Yeah. I have a public service announcement. Yeah. <laughs> Who gave her this microphone? <laughs> you did. <laughs> All right. For those of you out there. Yo, you remind me of the shorty on TikTok. She be reading the people's stories and she be like, listen here, y'all. And her shit be <laughs> echoing. <laughs> I'm in I'm in shock of what what listen, we don't have no society no more anyway. So it, it's a free for all. Y'all just do what the fuck y'all want to do. Legit. Not to me though, because I'll kill you. <laughs> but <laughs> just do what you want to do. If it ain't working out for you and that person, go find you another person. Okay. Like, if you don't like having sex 10 times a day, I don't know why the fuck you uh, got with that nigga in the first place. You must have faked your way into the relationship. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that one. You don't know about that one? No. Are you going to... Do you want to be shared? No. Okay. No. Do you agree? With her? Yeah. No, I think she's lonely. I think she's mad that somebody is not sharing with her. She wants what? a. It sounds like she wants a particular person, and they're not sharing. That's mm-hmm. what it sounds like. Or he was doing his thing, and he's like, "No, I can't. I'm going back home." So, and you know, he probably or, talking with her, talking about, "Yeah, she don't do this. She don't do that." So now she's sitting at home, like, "Why are you with her?" Then that's probably what's going on. Do niggas talk like that? Sometimes they do. Yes. Sometimes they fucking do. Yeah, what do. I mean, I feel like women do that shit too. Like mm-hmm. if there's an argument or something happens, but it's like you go and you talk to these other people, you talk down on that person that you with, but you stay with them for what reasons? Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you know, like a lot of work, you know, spouses feel, you know. Like they have that that say so over people's lives because they'll come to work and they're like, yo, he ain't doing this, he ain't doing that. You know what I mean? So then when he finally see you at like the company picnic, he like, mm, fuck you still doing with this nigga, or fuck you still doing with her. Like you just told me, you know, this nigga dick don't get hard and shit. Like, like what's going on? So I don't like that. That's the that's the thing about, you know telling people that you work with or your friends about your relationship. It's like, if you're going to say the bad, please, please say the good, too. Please say the good. Like, I'm begging you because I'm that type of friend. 
if all you telling me is bad shit, I'm gonna be like, fuck that person, fuck that nigga, mm-hmm. fuck that bitch, leave them alone. Like, yep. if you don't ever say nothing good, I'm never gonna believe nothing good. And then when you finally have something to say, I'm gonna be like, oh, for real, he he was good for a week. Like, you know right. what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta Wait, say, no, 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 he was, he's always good. You just someday he just. But like you don't tell me the something that you tell me uh, that's all the time. So you got to yeah. tell me the whole story because I like to play devil's advocate. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Hmm. And what did you do? You know what I'm saying? That part. Huh. Okay. Because when two plus two is I get four, two plus two, you get four, three plus one. Okay. Mm-hmm. Like, all you got to do is, like, talk some shit out when you have issues with somebody. But if you're in a relationship where communication ain't key, Mm -hmm. (laughs) no for real like that don't even make child don't even make she she look yeah she she look dusty she look like she probably just told on herself i don't know who her friends are but i wouldn't be that um and i like how they were like you're not ready for this conversation like people have this conversation all the time bitch it's just not happening to you (laughs) that's it it's not happening to you. What you want is not fucking happening. You've probably been in a sharing ass situation before, but mm-hmm. the whole fucking world don't work that way. Yeah, I'm not about to live inside of your false fucking reality because you had an idea because it felt good. Bitch, fuck out of here. <laughs> Roman, tell me that. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, DDG. Who that? That is the boyfriend of oh yeah 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 of Haley Bailey. Mm-hmm. I like saying Haley Bailey. Girl, yeah. yeah. Um, he said he did not realize the world was racist. He thought it ended in the civil rights movement, specifically with Martin Luther King. Huh. Terribly racist America still is. Yeah, I didn't know people was this racist. It's, I, it's I didn't know. I didn't know this was. Neither did I, dude. I thought this shit was gone already. I Bro. thought that shit was gone. I thought Martin Luther King canceled that shit out. It's crazy. This shit is crazy. Oh, Triple. we get reminded like how how old is this young man? Um, he's early twenties. Early twenties. Okay. Because because she's only like 22, something like that. So yeah, he's around that time. Okay. Uh, this is me doing my best to get this little nigga the benefit of the doubt. Um, Doing my fucking best. Okay. <laughs> Maybe his interpretation of racism mm-hmm. is skewed. Okay. okay. Maybe what he's been through or what he's viewed is not, you know, a reflection of racism to him maybe it's mm-hmm. where he's from maybe you know um it's not as bad where he is like i feel like racism is a lot worse in california than it is in texas you know what mm-hmm. i mean but you don't know things you're not really competent until you like move around and you see different shit you know what i'm saying if you grow up in the same fucking neighborhood yes. and everything is just the same that's your world right you may not really have no realization because one ain't nothing ever happened to you Two, ain't nothing ever happened to nobody that you know either. Right. Smallest benefit of the fucking doubt on that front. Now, here's my other thing. I don't know what the fuck you learned in school. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. speaking of, after they killed him on Twitter, because you know black Twitter. Black Twitter. Black Twitter. Ass, yeah. He posted a video of his high school graduation where he graduated with valedictorian. Nigga, you retarded. You got a fucking delay. And that's how I mean it. Okay. Uh, that don't even make sense. Just because you value it, man, I, that don't mean nothing to me. That don't mean nothing, didn't mean nothing to me. Black Twitter either, but he, he decided to put that up. All kind of people are valedictorian. and like that don't mean shit. <laughs> that don't mean nothing. Okay, you got a 4.0. Um in Man, who was doing your homework, nigga? Cause what the fuck? And then your ah, ugh. Do you know you're black or, bruh? Like, and I don't. don't. So, so it's either in my head. You, you like, like, remember, like we we heard the lady talking about. She didn't know that you know 
she was like black or racist until she was in her 20s. Remember that story that we heard mm. on one of the past episodes? Yeah. See what I'm saying? Like, I think maybe that's it. Maybe he was, you were right. Maybe he was so like secluded mm-hmm. away from all of that. Mm-hmm. And then when he finally got with her and then she, you know, all the backlash came, he probably was like, oh shit, white folks are tripping. I mean, where have you been the last 10 years? Yeah, like, because you know young kids don't watch the news. You don't have to watch the news. It's on your Instagram feed. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's going to be all over social media. That's where I get most of my news from. As soon as I get on that shit, it's like, right. damn, where have you been the last 10 years? You know what? Yeah, he missed the Black Lives Matter movement. I'm not... I and cannot. They, they, I, are, they no. a whole different nigga there. Like, I, I want to do a whole episode on them niggas. They, they a whole different type of nigga. I don't um, think he meant to say that. <laughs> I don't even think... He was, think doing, he a, he was, on a, white, he was on a white radio show, show interview, so... Where they was agreeing um, with his every word. Right, you know what I mean? Um, so... That's cool, but, like, I wanted to give you the benefit of the doubt of being in from somewhere small but no um you are black period yep. you know what i'm saying like if you don't know that racism exists by the time you age three four five like I, that don't even make sense yeah. and where have you been yeah, do like, you remember I, George Floyd? do you remember the riots do you it wasn't that long ago no the fuck yeah like, mike brown like like come on countless countless number yeah, of like black Lies are so it, it, it may not happen to him, but he had to see something. How the fuck you don't know how black you are as soon as you step outside? Yeah, and you want to tell me that you thought racism was just gone with Martin Luther King? Like his girl know what racism feels like, so mm-hmm. how wouldn't he know? How I mean. Like again, it is his perception, his interpretation of what he views. Um, he may be thinking, "Oh man, they just haters." True. He might not see this racism. He may not realize. Yeah. What it is? Yeah. Yeah, like you know they, I mean? them falling around the store asking him, "Does he need anything?" Oh no, Fuck I'm you. good, man. They're so nice here. Right. No, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> And profiling your dumb ass, yeah, like you, know, you just get that, pulled over randomly, like oh yeah, you tell light out, like you know he probably don't think that's racism. He probably just think that they're just nice people. I don't see how you walk around with this beautiful natural hair queen and yeah, shout out DDP. It's it, education, it's, brother. <laughs> it's his interp and maybe ain't nothing happened to him. Nah, nothing's happened to him. Not I'm yet. surprised because yeah. he's again, the he's the target. I just don't think that he realized what it is when he see it. Right. That's what I think. That's mm-hmm. that is what I think that he don't realize the way because it's, oh, it's happening to you. You just oblivious, like a child. So he's like he's like Carlton on the Fresh Prince when they when they pulled their ass over. Fucking dummy. Mm-hmm. No, remember that episode when he they was driving slow looking for something and the cops pulled him over and he do was you like remember that end. Yeah, I do. The end of the episode. I remember the end of the episode, but he's, he's the beginning. Yeah, yeah, but he's the beginning. He's not the end. So he probably oh, yeah, is the okay. He was oblivious. Carlton yeah, he's was like, what? Like, no. no they're helping us out. You know, we. I would pull you over too if you was driving this slow. So that's probably how he thinks. I can see that. Yeah. I can see that. I can see that. Again, ain't nothing happened to him. Something had to happen to Carlton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it, and it kept happening to him after that. <laughs> now you realize yep. once you once you step outside this bubble that is mm-hmm. protecting you, okay, yep. like cultural competency, people go somewhere else, and you you shall experience said racism. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've experienced it the most here. Mm. Go to Germany, people. Go to Germany. Go to Germany. Go to China. Yeah, go to China. Go to any fucking country you wish. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pull up to all of them. Everybody got something to say about us. So yeah, go to, go to France. Don't go to the Eiffel Tower. Go to the other parts of France. You can go to that stolen ass tower if you want to. Yeah. Right <laughs> okay. Ooh. Y'all didn't know that, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I don't fuck with you, France. Okay. Let y'all pay Haiti their fucking money back. Mm. He ain't gonna catch me in Paris. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I digress. I digress. So, I got it's, one more. It's triggering. So, <laughs> have you seen Dahmer yet? No, I'm going to binge it um, okay. this weekend. But I've watched every other Dahmer movie that there is. You know what I'm saying? Documentary, all of that stuff. So, I know the stories. I just want to support Niecy Nash because I love yeah, her a yeah. So, the actor that plays him. Yeah, he dope. He's a dope actor, right? Mm-hmm. He, America Horror Story, all that shit, right? Yeah. So, you know, black Twitter, they don't let shit slide. So they says, it's time to have the conversation. Mm-hmm. The actor that plays Jeffrey Dahmer is mm-hmm. playing a gay serial killer. Y'all hailing him as one of the best actors of 2022. On the flip side, Little Murder from P Valley. Yeah, murder. A gay rapper. And y'all saying he has to be gay. This, that, and the third. His wife's stupid. Something going on. But you're not giving the actor that plays Jeffrey Dahmer the same smoke. Do you agree? I'm gonna be honest with you. I thought the actor that played Jeffrey Dahmer was gay. He 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 plays a gay role in he plays a few gay roles. Couple times. Yeah. He plays a few gay roles. That's where my assumption came from. Uh, okay. Um, so I could see why people had assumptions about Lil Murder. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But um, the the actor that plays Jeffrey Dahmer. I mean, he a trailblazer right now. So he's he's done a lot, a lot of different roles. You know what I'm saying? He got Marvel money too. Like yeah. he's done quite. Yeah, you know what I mean. He's definitely multifaceted. But it's like we just haven't been able to see that from mm-hmm. Lil Murder yet. So it's okay. like once he, you know what I mean, like do some more things, some more movies, some more shows, and all of that shit. Maybe y'all will give him the respect that he deserves. But to say that he's gay and to say that his wife's stupid and all that shit, like, that's so disrespectful. This man is a full body of talent, okay? Mm-hmm. Not just acting like he do other shit. Yeah. A full body of talent. That's what y'all need to respect, not just right. this one role that he did here or there. You know what I mean? Because right. he may be in a movie five years from now, and that movie fucking sucks. You know what I'm saying? But... Should you shit on him as an actor? No. Like, Denzel Washington ain't never been in a shitty movie. Right. Okay. Exactly. I tell people that all the time. They don't want to hear that part. They don't hear that conversation. No, it's the truth. Um, yeah. Denzel, you, have, you got some bad ones, bro. Um, you got a few. You got a few. At mm-hmm. least five. Mm-hmm. Um, at least. At, that's all. <laughs> okay. Amazing fucking actor, but I'm not going to shit yeah. on him because of them five shitty ass movies. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like that's a that's a fucked up position yeah. to try to put somebody in. Yeah, they argue with me because I I'm like Denzel is not my number one black actor. No, not at all. Neither yeah. is Elba. Nope. No, not at all. Nope. No, I yeah. do enjoy them. You know. Oh yeah, I enjoy them. I, I enjoy them. I watch a Denzel movie right now, but oh, yeah, yeah, he's not number one. But I can watch Malcolm X right fucking now. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, training day. I love training day. But yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I think that's fucked up, though. I think he's just a, a great actor. Who's your number one? As black black actors, mm-hmm. black male actors. Yep. I don't have one. No. Mm-mm. No, I don't see enough. Gotcha. To pick a favorite, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. Denzel was everybody's favorite because that nigga was trailblazing, just like the right. same way that this dude is, you know, yeah. the one that plays Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, you know what I mean? So it's like maybe that's all you see for a mm-hmm. while back then, as far as you know, black community and shit. Yeah, Denzel was in a lot of fucking movies. <laughs> he was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like you didn't have a choice, really. I mean, you didn't right. have like a whole whole lot to choose yeah. from. We was just uplifting the fire that we had, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. now that we're like. You know, starting to trickle in a lot better. I don't know. I just say give give that person more roles so we can continue to see their range. Yeah. I, yeah, I would like to see him do something else and see see how he how he play that. So, but I love him as Lil Murder though. I do too. Fucking do too. what? I you do can too. be Lil Murder. You you can just wake up tomorrow and be like, you know what? I'm taking this role serious. Yeah, and we would be here for it. I'm there. But I don't, that's fucked. Do you agree? 
Uh, yeah, I, I think they're not giving. It's not an even. It's, it's, that's what black people do, though. Black people, we always harder on ourselves than we are on anybody else. Um, so I'm not surprised. Uh, I know a lot of people who don't watch P Valley because of him. Like Why? it's literally because of not, not even Uncle Clifford. Like they they didn't they didn't got used to Uncle Clifford. It's because of him. They they're not watching P Valley, and I'm like. That is so lame. Like, this is an interpretation of reality. Yeah. Remember that, okay? Mm-hmm. Or y'all that, oh, I'm not going to watch P-Valley, but y'all going to keep listening to them. Y'all don't know how many motherfucking rappers out here is fucking niggas, okay? He, he, yeah. But y'all yeah. going to hate on the Stars Network? Art is imitating life when it comes to P-Valley. So, but, Real yeah. Shit. What's wrong with being gay? Nothing uh, at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. Why y'all got to be so weird? This is my thing, okay? So heterosexual you know, men have this weird assumption that gay niggas want them. Yeah. That's the. That's it. They, they like don't fucking touch me. Like nigga, they don't. They're not worried about you. Just because I scooted past you, don't mean I want to fuck you. Okay? Right. Even my type. I love when they say shit like that. Um. <laughs> Bitch, what? Oh, you like me. Right. And you want me to like you. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, <laughs> but I get bothered by those videos where like a dude is like eating a hot dog or some shit. Yep. And they yeah, homie is like, oh, 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 why are you thinking about why are you thinking about that so hard while I'm trying to yep. eat my food? Yep. You see food go into my mouth, and that make you think about dick. Something and you worried about it. me eating, chewing? Mm-hmm. These are your thoughts. They provoke yeah. you, and now you're trying to provoke me with them. Yep. No. The toxic masculinity in the world, you can't have a hot dog. You can't eat a banana without breaking it up. You can't even fucking lick an ice cream in, in public. Like, niggas, That's the best licking an ice cream? Yeah. It's you can't do none of that. Why? Because niggas... They, they they sexualize everything. So you're gay. That's all they have to say. And, and then they get, they get mad when you tell them that. Why are you so mad? Why do I make you think about dick so much? Mm-hmm. It's okay. Right. We can talk about it. That's because if you eat a hot dog or if you eat a banana, they like to visualize you sucking dick. They can't they can't separate the two, which is weird Why? as fuck. Yeah, it's, they weird as fuck for that. So you need like, if we both ate a hot dog on camera right now, uh-huh. niggas are like, ew, what the fuck are you doing, Pablo? Why is that it's food, my nigga? The fuck? Nigga, every every summer I'm cooking out. It's it's fucking sausages and hot dogs on the grill. I don't know what the fuck niggas talking about. I've never seen a nigga suck off a sausage while he was trying to eat it. Right. That don't even make sense. So you don't want a hot link? You don't want one of these burnt hot dogs? You don't want a popsicle? Nope. <laughs> don't, don't, nigga, a popsicle? Shit. What? A bomb pop? Shit, nigga. They, shit. They delicious. <laughs> and they now you're missing out. Absolutely. That's more for me. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so, fuck I was a nigga. I'd eat all fucking dick-shaped food. All right, so what y'all doing? Y'all just biting them bitches? <laughs> 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 They be aggressive all the time. When they eating, like, bro, just enjoy your food. It's not jail, bro. Like, leave it alone, man. Like, oh, is that where that comes from? Pro- most likely. Most like most things. Most things. Yeah, they probably <laughs> sitting at the table with jail, and like. Now, if you in jail, I'm gonna let you have that intrusive. Yeah. Dog. You can have that. Okay, you can have it. You can have it. But we free, my nigga. Everything. You over sexualize the window if you want to, because it's got an opening. Okay. Bro, we free. We got the pardon, bro. We out. Okay. <laughs> eat, yeah. eat the banana, my nigga. <laughs> what do you think about niggas that go to jail for a long time and they like get their dick sucked and then they come out and they be like, nigga, I ain't gay. <sighs> I grew I- up in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> And you know, back in the 80s, a lot of niggas went to jail. And they went to jail for a long motherfucking time. 
Um, and how is niggas dressing in the eighties? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing that Y'all they had told them us, out, yeah, yeah de- definitely nipples, Mesh, all this shit, yeah, fishnet. So, and what they told us was jail is jail, and your home is home. So, mm-hmm. whatever you're doing there, you're doing you what you have to do to survive. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, nigga, get your dicks up. Like, if you in there for twenty years and you don't have no wife to come see you, I'm getting my dick sucked. I'm nigga, get your dicks up. I'm not gonna get my dick sucked because I'm gonna marry somebody. So niggas coming to see me. I promise you. Okay, I don't give a fuck if it's a fake marriage. Just so I can get some. I'm gonna get some pussy. But if you can't do that, <laughs> I probably still sucked. get my dick sucked. There's a lot of men. There's a lot of men in there who like sucking dick. Now that whole forcing niggas to suck your dick, that's some wild shit. Yeah, that's rapey. Yeah, that's you a predator. But if it, there's niggas in there that want to suck dick, get your dick sucked. It you ain't got to tell me either. This, nigga, that's your business. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. It's an institution. Y'all institutionalized. I understand yeah. that shit. Especially, the, it's like the longer that you around motherfuckers, the better that they start to look. I think it's a fucked up play on your psyche. I think it's mm-hmm. fucked up um, all the way around, I don't understand why we don't have hoes for that. Like, <laughs> we should have prison bays, like in real life. Like, we should yeah. have hoes for motherfuckers that's in jail so they can, you know, have sex. What's yeah, like have, have the women prison, the men prison do like a speed dating situation or something. That sounds lovely, but you don't want to get the motherfuckers that's already in jail pregnant. Yeah, so you don't. Yeah, you don't. You, you don't. don't. But that's a wonderful idea. Then, yeah, no, nah, because then you have to make sure that all the bitches on birth control and all this other shit. See, there's too many, too many rules, too many stipulations. Or you, you can uh, medically uh, sterilize them niggas. Now, why the fuck would you do that? Someone about to get out. Hey, some hey, it's a you see, you like it's with a lot of it's a great idea, but it comes with a yeah. lot of fucking it's a decision you have to make, my nigga. Like as long as you in here. You don't take these motherfucking pills, my nigga. Like, I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like that at all. Because oh, it's like, oh, well, when shit. do we stop? Like, well, obviously, slavery is real in our fucking 110%. prisons and whatnot. But slavery has not stopped people. No, it ain't stopped. It's still gonna, um, mm-hmm. it's in the Constitution. Just mm-hmm. read it, don't recite it. Um, so you, you say it out loud, you won't feel bad. Yeah. These. I don't I don't see that's not a reform whatsoever. <laughs> let them get yeah. pussy. I, I mean, if y'all let them fuck in jail, well. like why not? Like yeah. we ain't got no extra special hotel visits or something. I need to own a jail because I'm not to get these niggas pussy or dick, whatever you like, or booty hole. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, I, I told somebody a long time ago, like it stopped being about rehabilitation a long fucking time ago. It was and never about rehabilitation. It was. It um they built San Quentin that, as a rehabilitation. It was on a boat. They made the niggas row a boat from the ocean to the land to build San Quentin. That's the mentality they put on niggas. Like, we're going to make you build the place where you're going to keep your ass. That was supposed to be rehabilitation. And then, Sounds like America. <laughs> when they realized how much money you get from prisons, yeah, rehabilitation went out the window. That's, now you got prisons that's underneath the ground. Like they got like mm-hmm. fucking six, seven story prisons underground in Utah. Like, bro, come on now. Yeah, that's the supermax. That's where all that's where the real killers are. That's that's where them, them psychopath, like get the, they can't walk the street ass niggas be at. Okay. I listen. Everybody <laughs> needs some therapy. <laughs> and none of them get pussy. None of them. They all underground. None of them get pussy. That's torture, man. Yeah. That's 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 to- that's torture. I don't know. That's like, like, like a big deal on the outside. Like you was a big deal. You can just get pussy at the snap of a finger, and all of a sudden, twenty years, nothing. I'm dead. I see, I'm I, see, I, see, I, see I see that. I see why I'm, I'm dead or I'm fucking like. I'm not gonna go 20 years without it. Yeah, I can just let me go. I'm trying to escape. I'm trying to 
drink some bleach or something. I'm trying to get the fuck out of here. I can see, I can you. No I, I can see you escaping. <laughs> oh, I definitely would. I Rapunzel my way out that bitch. <laughs> but so, so what do you think about the guards that's fucking? The guards that's fucking the inmates. Yeah, like you know the lady guards. You know, I mean, they single moms sometimes. You know, this they this is a nice little state job for them. They meet some nigga who got some game on the inside. It, 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 they tooting it up for the name. <laughs> Sound like a playground to me. Hey yo. <laughs> I wouldn't do it because I don't no. want to work there. Mm-mm. Okay. I mean, I'd be like the therapist that come in and talk to people, but I wouldn't. Oh, you know they're going to try to fuck you. Oh, yeah, and I'm going to try to murder them. So, <laughs> fine. This is fun. Yeah. This is fun for me. Yeah, and I'm like, yeah, let's talk about your childhood. Let's talk about your lips. It's going to be a whole other shit going on. <laughs> you know, I got really witty comebacks, so <laughs> talk. <laughs> like, I ain't afraid of y'all. No, not at all. I'm happy to see y'all. Happy to help. There you go. <laughs> You'll see Shay as the uh, the prison therapist soon. It's coming to him. <laughs> I'm soon, Shay. I might change some things for the world. Yeah. Hey, uh, <laughs> I hope. I hope not too. At the same time, but listen. <laughs> no, I could do that job. I could pull up. I can see you. <laughs> I can see you. What's up, y'all? <laughs> Line them up. Everybody gonna be coming to therapy. You think they're not? All of a sudden, niggas like, yeah, I need somebody to talk to. What? <laughs> I'm be changing things in that bitch. Yeah, keep them around high. Yep. Boy, be like, Yo, what you talking? What you talking to him about? I can't can't disclose that. <laughs> I don't even know who you're talking about. <laughs> oh man, damn. It's 52 minutes. That's what you you want to do it or you want to hold off on? Uh, I'm still thinking about prison. What about the male guards? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the male guards. I've seen Orange is the New Black. Mm-hmm. Okay. Definitely, <laughs> happened. Definitely happened. There was a, uh, a whole scandal here. Uh, one prisoner, he got like six guards pregnant. Yep. Damn, six, he was slanging that dick. Yo. Yo. Got six really? of them pregnant. Yep. Six. I, I see. I see. I see the, I see the arg- article. What the rotation like? Yep. Yeah. Oh, I know. Crazy. He feel like he that nigga. Oh, yeah. You, you, he has to be. Is he getting out of jail anytime soon? I don't think so. I think they gave him like twenty. So he was like, "Fuck it." Oh wow! Damn. I would at least use some protection <laughs> or plan B that hoe. Like, right. that's why you're not supposed to fuck the people that you work around. Exactly. <laughs> Dr. Guard pregnant. Yep. Pop right up. Oh, I'm sorry. It's four, not six. It still sound like six. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. I'll probably do the same thing, though. I bet you. <laughs> yeah. If I was a man, I'd be a whore. There you go. It's like I like when you send me stuff and then I don't. <laughs> yep. This ain't your city. Yes, it is. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> oh. <laughs> It was, it was bringing, it was bringing, them, it was bringing them shit in. Yeah. Grace and jewelry. He was, he was a big deal. He was a big deal. Who is this nigga? Because I probably have his baby too. <laughs> um, I think he was head of the uh, Black Gorilla family. I think he was head of, head of the Black Gorilla family. And now that's my baby daddy. Yep. He used to sell drugs. <laughs> uh, allegedly. You know, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna I don't speak on those things, things but yeah, allegedly. He, he, oh he, my god! I'm about to start pen piling people at jail. <laughs> Yo, that Yo. Was a, that was a huge thing when we was younger. It like, was okay, they, like it definitely was. Niggas was getting all kind of pictures, <laughs> not from me, uh, but 
And I ain't gonna say from my aunties either, but yeah. um, from somebody's aunties. <laughs> yep. A lot of aunties. Yeah, like yeah. somebody to talk to. Oh, then, well, what are these pictures for? Oh, mm-hmm. who are these? okay, okay, cool. Yep. When I used to work at Walgreens and uh the photo machine went down, they had to call me out. The photos would be that be stuck in that son of bitch. Mm-hmm. They'd be all like Okay, pent up, right. so, out, <laughs> up with the Black Panther tattoo. Yeah, right. Wearing a black lace, fuck is wrong with your garter belt wearing head ass niggas. <laughs> if y'all saying, I might send a picture. Hey yo, <laughs> I got way too much time on my hands. Uh, damn, that's crazy. Damn, mm-hmm. that's crazy. But yeah, don't do that. Um. I have no words. We talked about so many things just now. Like I don't even we know did. if I can even wrap this up. <clears throat> um, be a pen pal. You know, some people definitely in there. They have no family, no friends. They need that type of love, man. You be a pen pal to somebody. I know somebody in jail need to write. See, yeah. Uh, slavery is real. Racism is definitely still around. Um, Cheating is forever. Don't matter who you are. It don't matter who the fuck you are, uh, cheating will cheating will come back on your ass. Uh, if you want to play a gay rapper and they paying you, mm. be the gay rapper. Mm-hmm. Take that fucking money. Fuck what black Twitter thinks. Okay. Yeah, and play the shit out that role. And uh, if you identify as black, but you're really not, and you got a good body. Go ahead, start OnlyFans. It's fine. Go ahead and start our OnlyFans, but don't you wear one nappy ass, cheap ass wigs. <laughs> Rachel. <laughs> fucking Rachel. Damn, her body look good. It's fucking crazy. Yeah. I'm mad at that. <laughs> you know she had to work out. You know she she knew that we was gonna drag her either way. So she might as well look good while we dragging her. I mean, she like she got some work done, but she look good. Mm-hmm. She look good. I just I don't like what she portray. Like you beautiful yeah. all in your own right, Miss Mama. So like, mm-hmm. if you need black friends to say that, she she love she love the culture, man. Hey, I'm not mad at you a lot. Do and don't say nothing. I mean, yeah. but you just she, she loves it. She loves the culture, and she's not one of people that. that run away from it. That's that's yeah. one thing I will say about her. She just wild as hell. That's all. We we appreciate the uh yeah. you know love. She's, she's not a Kardashian, you know, like when the black when the black issues come up, they disappear. She don't do that. You know, I, how mad she's can we really be at Rachel? I'm not mad. I just found it hilarious that she said I'm black. Like now that part it was just like, girl, you didn't Yeah. But with like, all the cultural when her parents came out and said, I don't know what the fuck she on. <laughs> That, I was like, yep, that's it. I'm good now. Yeah. I mean, not surprised that you infatuated um, right. or obsessed. I would be too. I should I am. <laughs> um, do what you want to do, but just like don't say, you know, if I if I put chopsticks in my hair, I'm not gonna say tomorrow I'm Japanese. You know what I mean? Like that don't make any sense. You can like what you like as long as you like <laughs> not disrespectful to others. So did she start all of that? You know how like I identify like mm-hmm. that that whole phrase did do she did she start that wave? Mm-mm. No, somebody else was coming out saying I identify as this. Yeah, you ain't never seen that, the thing though. Like you ain't never seen that video of that white woman who um was getting like different surgeries and like changed her hair and like her skin. Oh, the one that, tone. Oh, the one that got real dark. Yeah, look real yeah. fucking stupid. Her wig worse than that shit. I tell yeah. you that. Don't get me started, man. Don't get me started. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah, I remember her saying that. That was that was seven years ago. She was like, I identify as black. You can't. She's transracial. Oh. That's what they call it. That is yep. not a uh, that is not a false reality that I want to be a part of. Uh, that, that that is that, that, that is reality. You know, when I, enough, enough people say it is true. You know that. Yeah, no, I don't. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't live there. <laughs> I live in my live. world. 
Yeah. Yeah. I don't live there with y'all. Do what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? As long as it make you happy and you're not disrespecting nobody. But at the same time, like, no. I'm not going to be a part of that. I'm sorry. Yep. Damn. Transracial. Crossing racial boundaries. That's It's an official definition. Crossing racial boundaries is the definition. That's, that's one of the best ones, yeah. That's a weak-ass definition. It should it be is. more hate spewed in it. But, um... So hey. transracial people identify as a different race than the one they associate with biologically. They may adjust their appearance to make themselves look more like that race. And they may participate in activities of the new race. I'm not mad at Rachel. That's a lot of white people out here. There you go. That's a lot of people in general, but yes, I, just, I can't be mad at her without being mad at a lot of other people for a Japan, lot of other things. Right yeah. now, dumb niggas want to be white. Please don't speak for the whole... God damn, you gotta stop speaking for a whole country now. Nick, okay. okay, Tokyo. All right, if you go to fucking Tokyo, <laughs> dumb niggas dye their hair blonde, they try to put the little little indent in their eyelids, they, they want to be a white American people. That... Now, what you said is really fucked up, but that don't mean that they want to be white. No, they said that. It was a, it was a whole documentary. They said that. They to said, want I mean, we, we want to look American. Oh, to look Little American. And they, they identify Americans as being white. Do what you want to do. Whatever makes you fucking happy. And I don't know. I know you saw that. The Asian nigga who got his shit curled up. Yeah. See what I'm saying? They don't, they ain't trying. Japan niggas don't want to be themselves, nigga. <laughs> I I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I cannot. I'm not. That goes, I can't the that goes the whole the whole country. Of Japan goes in the box. You can't put the whole country in there. The whole country ain't on the same shit. That's like right, saying Tokyo. Y'all I'm not niggas. putting Tokyo in there. All right, downtown I'm, Tokyo, y'all niggas. Putting all the downtown in there, look. <laughs> when we do our tour over there, don't hurt, don't hurt me. Okay, I apologize. <laughs> that whole situation like goes into like a whole other story about colorism and a whole bunch of other shit. Yeah. So uh, when we do sake <laughs> and champagne over in Tokyo, please be be nice to me. You be fucking nice to them. Huh? <laughs> you be fucking nice, nigga. Apologize, shit. Oh my god! Oh, you don't do a whole video before we get on the plane. Like I am so sorry. <laughs> uh, we should just edit this part out. <laughs> um, you should just edit the whole thing. Um, so sorry. See what is that? What the fuck was that? What? How you said so sorry? So sorry. Yeah, you talk about me, nigga. We all going down. Where am I gonna go? So sorry. That's how you sounded. Oh, you nigga, that. I didn't say it like that. 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 I didn't say it like that. <laughs> Interpretation is a motherfucker. Ain't it though? <laughs> oh, I ain't baby. going down by myself. Okay. No, nah, bigger than Nino Brown. Going to hell and you driving the bus there and you going to pick yourself up. This is bigger than Nino Brown. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, um, put Tokyo on the box. Put Tokyo, put, 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 Congratulations, put, Tokyo. You in the box. Put Tokyo in the box. We're not going to speak on Tokyo no more because I cannot. <laughs> I can't. Uh. I want to go to Tokyo. That's the crazy part. You are not welcome here. I am not welcome. The fuck? Um. This nigga has lost his mind. Okay. So I'm when sorry, you pull up Tokyo. to Tokyo and they call you nigga, 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 they'll be mad. Yeah. 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 I'm like, out there, I'm like, LeBron James. LeBron James. I, I can't be mad. I'm like, you got it. Mm-hmm. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Remind me not to take you with me to Tokyo. <laughs> I do not want him there. Mm-mm. Oh, are you not allowed to talk? Yeah. Okay. Let me wrap this up. Definitely yeah, make sure you edit that part. Uh, the last ten minutes of talking, maybe even fifteen. Uh damn. Rachel. <laughs> I think.
think we have given you guys an ample amount of <laughs> reasons to not to listen to us anymore. <laughs> but God damn it, if you don't like us, you can definitely tune in to Sarkarians and pick another lovely podcast to listen to. Um, I apologize. I, might I didn't say it. nothing wrong, but I might um, make a video. With just the box, it might just be the box stuff. I might just put that all in one video. He's a horrible person. Um, <laughs> this is the point where I start trying to turn my life around. Um, yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna do that no more. But Man, thank you. You just said you're gonna have a whole prison brothel, but I you gonna turn your life around. Prison brothel is a good thing. I'm trying to boost the morale in the prisons. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get niggas pussy because they don't want to suck dick. They okay? don't. For the ones that don't want to, I'm going to pull up for y'all and bring out some pussy one day. Oh, okay. Just I kidding. That's going. a lie. I'm not going to do that. Okay, I don't know where you're going with that one. You just what? pull up on niggas. <laughs> yeah, because I'm the therapist. I brought a gang Okay. Of oh, all right. No, because it sounded like you pulling up on niggas. Like, what you need, my nigga? <laughs> oh, no. But if y'all paying, you know, $25 a picture, like, that's cool. But yeah, no, uh, uh-uh. uh, I'm not. If, if I'm you want to, uh, Shay the pen pal, you know, hit her up at uh, at Shay underscore Leron. <laughs> and you gotta send me the pens, the paper, the envelopes, the stamps. Mm-hmm. But you know they they do they got the internet now and all that. They just email you and shit. Not all prisons. Oh shit! If you going to one of those, yeah, you might. Yeah. You have a nigga drawing you shit. You have a nigga draw you. I'm gonna love it. I love when niggas be drawing me shit. Go ahead. Be coming up with all kind of fucking shit. Go ahead, do that. Just don't ever yeah. try to touch me nothing. Cause anyway, I gotta get off of here. Um, Shake prison, prison bay, bay. If you out there, you gonna get a fucking prison bay. Y'all keep. <laughs> you gonna keep fucking around. You gonna send talk us into shit. They gonna send me money too. Send me the prison yep. bay. Mm-hmm. I hope niggas in prison is listening to our podcast. <laughs> that shouldn't be that funny. Anyway, let me get the fuck off of here. So, thank you guys for listening. For tuning Shout out to in. the people in prison. Shout Hold out to the down. people in prison. Shout Bro. out to the cheaters. Yeah. Shout out to the trans... What? Racial. Racial. Like, Rachel. Uh, shout yeah, out to everybody. Title. Trans Rachel. No, Trans Rachel, that's a good one. Trans mm-hmm. Rachel, yeah. Shout out to her. Um, yeah, gang, gang, S and G. All day. <laughs> uh, November fifth, players ball, mm-hmm. graffiti alley. Yep. Okay, seven to eleven. Right. Aye. All day. Yeah. Um, get your tickets. Buy the merch. Pull up. It's gonna be a great time. Um, oh, the cocaina hoodies is coming back. Bring them, out. Bring them out this weekend. Yeah, let's make some new hoodies. Somebody asked for yep. some new ones. Um, somebody asked for a hoodie with me and you on it. Anyway, we gotta take new pictures. That's all I do. True. All right, well, follow us at tequila champagne at pod. Follow me at Shay yeah, underscore yeah. Laron. Follow mm-hmm. Pablo at Pods Give. Just look for Sarkar against you. Don't see a whole bunch of shit pop up for this nigga. You can follow Justice Lighthouse if you're going through some shit. Goddamn, your motherfucking beard ain't growing. Get you some motherfucking baby butter. Baby butter. I can see it from here. <laughs> okay, uplift and yeah. So all your niggas in prison, go ahead and buy Shay some um some of that mango, uh, baby butter. She like that. Let that man go. Yeah, I love mm-hmm. that scent. That was a good mm-hmm. one. And the strawberry letter. There you um, go. Yeah, I go to oh God, I don't know what to tell y'all. <laughs> Shit. Good luck. Okay. Happy That's hunting, what I would say. <laughs> Good good luck and penis pumps. All right. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>